Olympians have dominated the annual run across Hobart's Tasman Bridge. Victoria's David McNeil won the men's race, while Eloise Wellings from Sydney won the women's event. Peak hour isn't usually seen on the Tasman Bridge on a Sunday morning, but close to 3,000 runners slowed traffic for the annual run the bridge. Competitors warmed up in Belle Reve before taking on the bridge. Olympians David McNeil, Liam Adams and Ruben Koskai formed the leading pack. Adams has won the event for the past two years, but couldn't keep up with newcomer McNeil, who broke away with four kilometres to go. It's pretty tough, yeah. Um, it, it, I reckon if I'd done that course probably eight months ago, I would have been well back, but uh, I've been doing a lot more hills in training in the last sort of four or five months. McNeil finished in 29 minutes and 11 seconds. It's the second fastest finish in the event's six-year history. Sydney runner Victoria Mitchell couldn't catch fellow Olympian Eloise Wellings in the women's race. I knew I was feeling really good. I had a bit of a look behind and I knew that I had a gap and I just knew that, you know, as long as I kept that rhythm and um, tried to really run strong up the hill. Wellings finished in 33 minutes and 38 seconds. Local teenagers Owen Law and Ruby Smee won the five kilometre races. I do a lot of rowing and that's I don't normally get to run but it's always good to have the day off and yeah, get to compete. Well, I was pretty surprised because I raced yesterday so I was pretty happy with it. Organisers are happy with the event's growing profile since its start in 2010. The numbers have uh, steadily gone up since then, which is actually bucking the trends nationally. There's a lot of uh, downturn in, in participants this year, and so for our event to keep going up in numbers, it's terrific. The 10-kilometre race winners are each taking home $3,000. Selena Ross, ABC News.